the wind parking garage. Some people are afraid to park here because they don't want to pay for parking. Well, the good news is wind doesn't want to exclude you from coming to their resort. They want to welcome you. So if you play a poker tournament or a cash game, they'll validate your ticket for free so you won't have to pay the $10 or whatever it is to park. So don't be scared to come to win. Free to park if you play poker. They just don't want random guys coming and parking here than walking to Bally's or Golden Nugget like some psycho. But we're here at the win for the $600, 250K, three flights. This is flight 1B. Hopefully we only have to fire one bullet, bag and tag tonight, and come back on Sunday. Welcome to the win. With blinds at 75, 150, we have our 15,000 chip starting stack. We got pocket deuces under the gun. Could raise, but I prefer a limp to protect our under the gun aces limping range. And of course, to induce a multi-way pot in which we can flop a deuce, get paid huge against a worse hand. So we call, I have two aggro euros on my left. Next one calls, the next one makes it 800. Everyone folds back to me. I put in the call, next euro puts in the call. The flop comes, ace, eight, deuce, rainbow. We check to the razor, he bets 900. Correct small bet on such a dry flop with his range advantage. I call, second guy calls. Three ways to the turn, which is a five. 3-4 gets there, but that's very unlikely. We check, going for the check raise, but they both check. The river is a queen. I'm putting one of them on an ace, and they're all about that thin value. So we're gonna go for the check raise once again. We check, first limper bets 2,500. Original razor calls. Excellent situation. The second guy cannot have us beat. The first guy might have a set of eights, three, four. That's about it. So we're definitely going for the value raise. We make it 9,000. We don't want to risk our whole tournament, leaving 5,000 behind or make it look that way. They both tank fold. So I couldn't get the value I was looking for, but we still got great value and we're chipping up nicely. Always nice to flop a set on the first hand. With blinds at 75, 150 with an ante, we have two red queens under the gun plus two, so we make it 400. Uh, older Asian on the button just lost a big pot. He puts in the call and the big blind calls. The flop comes jack, nine, six, two clubs. A very wet board, so we're gonna bet bigger than normal for value and protection. We bet 1,000. Asian on the button shoves all in for 6,500. Big blind tank folds and we call. He shows ace jack offsuit. The turn is a four and the river is a deuce and we win. A new player sits on our right, looks at me and says, hey, I remember you from the World Series of Poker bathroom line, where you told Mike Matisau to get to the back of the line because he cut in front of 50 people. It feels good to get recognition for speaking up for the common man. He then went on to tell me, he looked me up and Saw my YouTube videos and he's a fan. It's little things like this that make it all worthwhile. Really in the zone, poker wise. 45,000 going to 600 big blind. Let's stay focused. Dinner in two hours. Bag and tag in seven hours. Get, get, get 
with blinds at 300, 600, 75 ante, under the gun plus two opens for 1300. Next to act makes it 3200. I'm next to act in middle position and I look down at pocket jacks. I think every option is on the table in this situation. Original Razor has 33,000, Three Better has 45,000, and we have 50,000 chips. Do I want a four bet call it off with jacks against the three better, get in 80 plus blinds? Do I want a four bet fold? Because he can only continue with better hands. That's the question. I could flat against more skilled players. They'd know a flat means my range is almost always ace queen, ace king, tens, jacks but I would be playing in position and possibly a three-way pot, pretty deep. I could fold, just put them on better hands and just uh, get out of there, lose 75 chips. But I decide to do something unusual and just flat, lower variance, play, play some flops, see what happens. The blinds fold, original razor calls. The flop comes 10, 10, three rainbow action goes check a bet of 7700 a very large bet are we going to put them on an over pair and just fold not quite yet we put in the call original razor shoves all in quickly 30,000 chips three better tanks and goes all in for 40,000 chips are jacks ever good here? Probably not. We make a discipline laydown. Original Razor has Ace 10 offsuit for three tens. Three better has Ace King of Spades. I don't know what the hell he's doing. Board comes eight in a seven, and we lose eleven thousand chips. In retrospect, we could have four bet called pre and won a 90k chip pot against the ace king, or we could have four bet folded pre because he probably would have shoved ace king and we would have to make a tough decision and we would have lost about 11,000. So overall, pretty uh, marginal, marginal hand, marginal spot, lost 11,000. That's okay. We're going to stay focused and, uh, you know, bag and tag late night at the Encore with the moon in the background. Let's go. With blinds at 800, 1600, we have pocket fives in middle position, so we make it 4,000 to go. Woman to our immediate left makes it 8,000 to go. This bet is usually indicative of aces, kings, maybe ace king. Everyone folds, we're getting the right price to set mine, so we put in the call. The flop comes. Jack, 10, seven. We check, she checks. The turn is an eight, putting a one card straight out there. When she checks back that flop, I'm putting her on mainly ace-king, ace-queen. So if we know she has one of those two hands, we can block her value bet and then play rivers accordingly if she doesn't improve. Probably not bluff happy, but probably call happy. So we bet the bare minimum, 1600. She tanks and folds says I have ace queen I can't call that bet she's getting over 10 to 1 but that's okay we appreciate the fold one pair good fifth pair for value with blinds at 800 1600 
we raise it up to 4,000 with pocket sixes. The same woman on our left calls. Everyone folds and we see a flop of ace, king, jack, two diamonds. We bet 3,000 because that flop hits our range harder than hers. But she calls. The turn is a queen of diamonds. Hearts. Putting two flaw straws out there. We can't beat anything now unless she has some suited uh, flush straw cards. So we check to see what she's gonna do. She quickly checks back. So that's telling me she's got, at best, a two pair type hand or ace rag. The river is an offsuit four. We wanna rep the straight or two pair or set and get her to fold her one pair or bad two pair type hands. So we bet large, 15,000. She thinks for about 30 seconds and puts in the call. We show our fifth pair and it's no good because she has ace eight of hearts. Horrible call long term, works out for her this time. We now have 75,000 going to 2,000 big blind, 40 more levels, 40, 40 more minutes before we bag and tag. Started the last level with 100,000, played for 40 minutes, and managed to lose every pot to get 60,000 in the bag. Brutal one, ace nine versus jack four on nine, nine, eight, ten, queen run out. Trapped him good there. The old limp call, call, call. That'll happen. Deposit on America's Card Room today using the bonus code BOSKI and you'll get up to $1,000 deposit match bonus and 20 days of free cash. Log in, hit the free cash button, and they just give you free money for the first 20 days. Thanks for watching, and we're out.